Welcome Exiles to the part 3 of the video series where we are building a build from scratch. If you haven't seen the previous two videos, go watch those first, the link is in the description. And we are kind of left here. It is starting to look decent, but we have to do a lot more things to make it function. Um, I'm not going to recap what we did in the previous videos, because if you're gonna follow the series, start from the beginning. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, what are we going to do? Well, we need to fix the items further because we kind of squeezed enough damage out of like 81 nodes. We have to put more nodes, but the big beefy nodes, we picked them up already. And then we're gonna fix our items first, then go back to the skill tree and see where we can gain more damage and tweak it to be better. So let's go to the items. What we can do, we're not even using flasks. So that can be, we're gonna leave those for the last, I think. But what we're gonna do now is sort everything by impale DPS. And I'm gonna bring my base amulet for now. Uh, and we're gonna look any slot, basically. And see what is going to give us the most DPS if we, re if we replace our rare. So, apparently Lion's Roar, which is... A must flask for melee builds. I said we're gonna, not gonna add flask yet, but this one is definitely gonna be used. Uh, this one gives you 25 more melee physical damage during flask effect and knocks back enemies. So it is pretty good. The knockback can be a bit annoying sometimes, but usually it's kind of moving enemies around and can interrupt them. So it's actually pretty good once you get used to it. So let's add that one to the build. And that was a pretty significant change in our DPS. Let's go further. <laughs> We're obviously not going to use all uh, unique flasks because we have to um, sort out our removing curses and ailments. But yeah, Wild Wrap is pretty much a staple for this build and we were using it in previous year incarnations. Uh, it gives a lot of dexterity and increases damage per dexterity, which is really, really good. So we're gonna add that at the moment. Uh, it's probably not gonna have that, those colors. Uh, let's actually set it up. It says, this says green, 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 green. Uh, it's not gonna have that in the end. But yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is like fully scuffed here. We're gonna probably, if when I release the final version, I'm gonna edit to make it pretty. But for now, let's leave it at that. Uh, next thing. Um, what is this thing? Mm, you have Onslaught while you have Fortify. That is pretty, pretty interesting. And uh, this is probably being good because we don't have any other source of Fortify, of uh, Onslaught. But having Onslaught on bosses is also pretty nice. Just again, fortify when you stun an enemy. That is not important. Increase attack damage per 200 of your lowest of armor and evasion rating. That is actually pretty interesting belt. We're probably not gonna use it. Um, it is giving us damage because the onslaught probably. Uh, it's probably onslaught. Let's let's calculate again. See if that was that was the thing, or maybe it's the armor thingy, armor or evasion. Uh, yeah, it was onslaught. That is interesting. Okay, uh, so we have uh, this jade amulet that is going to scuff our fortify. It's gonna make it terrible for defenses, but it's it's kind of different. It can be actually okay for defense. Initially, Fortify reduces 20% of damage all the time, which can prevent one-shots, but this gives you 30% um, more evasion rating. We're gonna be evasion kept with this, probably. So we're gonna evade attacks, but once we get hit, we, we are screwed. <laughs> we might get one-shotted. It does give a lot of attack speed, so I might add it for now. Let's add it to build, change the amulet. Uh, I actually added two of those, and let's remove the unused rig world, this thing. 
Uh, I'm not gonna remove the rares. Uh, actually, before I started messing with this, <coughs> let's make a new one. I'll call this, I don't know, uh, version 1. Uh, cheap gear, maybe, I don't know. Budget. Uh, and we're gonna go back to this one and just like bring it back to what it was. Uh, let's just turn off this for now. I, I want to have that as a base. Um, mm, I think everything here is fine. Are we gonna save that as a base? Rename it. Base. Rares. And just go to this one. Which doesn't have anything uh, for some reason. Uh, that is because it went with a new, not with. Um, let's go manage. We'll delete this one. Uh, yep. Uh, and we're just gonna copy this one and call it version one budget. We'll try to keep it on a budget for now. Okay, let's switch to that one. Uh, we said that we're definitely going to be using Wild Wrap. We're going to be using uh, maybe this amulet. We'll see. And let's calculate again <laughs> Impel DPS. And see what we get. We're going to get uh, Lion's Roar for sure. To begin with, yes. Uh, we already have one, so we're just going to add it. It's really easy actually to get the perfect rolled one, so we could actually force that. Uh, it's not active, okay. There is a better belt, I think. Headhunter is definitely not gonna be it, uh, but let's put this one for now. How much DPS is that? That is, that is pretty nice, but let's calculate again. Uh, we have to kind of price check this stuff before we kind of initiate it into the build. And I was looking over some interesting stuff uh, that we have to test in game. We can't really like do it <laughs> uh, from PUB. Um, we might be able to use Call of Steel. Um, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it because I haven't tested it in the game. We we'll just continue with the build. Um, so this thing is apparently relatively inexpensive, it's 13 cows. Um, minus 20 all elemental resistance while you have at least 200 strength. Increase projectile damage while you have at least... Minus. Or is that plus? I am being blind or something. It's plus, okay. Uh, yeah, apparently I have to start wearing glasses or something. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe I'm tired. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I should be wearing glasses. You have to go see the eye doctor uh, sometime soon. Uh, uh, so, increased global fist damage, pretty nice. Increased flask charges gain is kind of okay. Stun duration, completely useless. We would probably buy one with the corruption. Uh, with decent corruption. Like, anything is better than that, so you would kind of go look for... Um, mm, mm, not that, but this. And give corrupted, yes. And... Why is this... Okay, it has, like, catalyst, but... Domination has increased effect. You could... Okay, that starts to... To go into insanity so no corruption i guess we're going without corruption <laughs> so yeah give strength and dexterity pretty, pretty nice increase global physical damage flash charges is kind of okay uh 20 to all elemental resistance while you have at least 200 strength which we do so this is gonna help with keeping our resist increase project projectile it doesn't matter because we do have that. We probably will have this, but uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll see about that belt. It's probably not gonna be it, but for now, it is it. Devotos is also a really nice item, but it's a question. Do we go with Devotos or do we go with a rare with uh, Enchant? We'll have to... Cyclone Enchant, because Devotos with an Enchant is gonna be expensive. 
So how expensive is the Votos? Generally, it should not be that expensive without um, the Enchant. Okay. Went to my desktop. <laughs> there is nothing on it except like cool background. I don't like to keep icons on my desktop. Uh, uh, uh. It's one chaos. So let's see if Cyclone uh, damage. Uh, increased attack speed or um, the other one, both of them are pretty good. So either one of those. So you say like here and say count and one. So basically it's going to pick one of those. It's 10 exalts for increased damage. Yeah, this is this is not going to be budget. You could try something else, some other enchant that could be useful, but we'll have to see. Maybe some Warcry Enchant or something. Uh, but for now, we have Devotos that's not with the Enchant. Uh, it does give you reduced physical damage, which is pretty nice. Dexterity, increased attack speed, armor evasion, cold res, movement speed. Everything on this thing is freaking amazing. Bottle Fate is not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> and it's not even that great of a thing for us. Uh, second thing is create consecrated ground. Yeah, this is because of consecrated ground, not because like uh, of the flask being any good. I think um, no, like that thing over from chalice is not a great flask. Replica sorrow of divine sulfur flask, uh, eldritch battery. These flasks are here because of Consecrated Ground uh, and 40% uh, increased damage, so we will probably use that kind of flask. I guess that's the Votos. Okay, uh, let's craft an item. Uh, let's just turn this for a second. Uh, okay, let's craft an item. It's gonna be a flask. I kind of like to sculpt the build. I don't like go with uh, finishing one thing then doing the other, but I go back and forth between items, skill tree, flasks, and configure everything like that. So, uh, yeah, we're searching for uh, its uh, magic. Um, it's a utility flask. It's um, <laughs> sulfur flask. Uh, maybe like the other ones, mm, I would use, we already have a granite flask, um, this one like crit strikes with not doing crit. Um, I would maybe use one with phasing because this is pretty nice for survival. Uh, you could do onslaught flask, I don't know what else you could do. You could do increase invasion, create cloud of smoke, kind of okay -ish flask, you would definitely do quicksilver. Maybe we'll have to get back on that. There is one other thing that I plan to try out and not use Quicksilver Flask. Uh, anyways, let's get the Conk Ground going. So let's do that one. Uh, let's edit the thing. Actually, we can edit it from here. Uh, it's gonna be... We want reduced charges used. That's Chemist. That's usually the best flask to kind of get. Um... The other ones can be okay, but this one is probably increased charges recovered. No, nah, this is like the best one. Or you can do ample if you want to be cheap skate. Um, increased effect, reduced duration is kind of okay if you can sustain that, but uh, <laughs> it's gonna be good for mapping, it's gonna be crap for bosses because it's gonna go down pretty fast. If you don't one-shot bosses, then it's gonna be useless. I would probably go with Chemist, uh, and the the thing I would... First thing that I would get rid of is Curses, so that is gonna be of warding. Uh, I mean, you can put it on any flasks, to be honest, but on, on one of the flasks I would put warding doesn't matter on which one you put it as long as you have that or remove blade is also important but yeah curses bleed and freeze those three things you have to have in the build uh okay we have the increased damage and we can say here are is enemy on con ground that's gonna increase crit strike chance but we're not critting so it's pretty much useless 
But are we on Consecrated Ground? Yeah, we are, so we get some region. Maybe we are not all the time, but we are, kind of, sometimes. <laughs> we gain a bit of region, it's nothing, like, significant, but 40% increased damage is pretty good. And that's why it's kind of popping here for recommendation. But I think we'll use Bottled Fate, since it's pretty much a waste of uh, your currency on this build. Um, it is good if it's like your last upgrade, don't get me wrong. It increases your damage by 10% uh, against enemies that are on consecrated ground, which is 10% more damage. It's pretty good. Uh, it wants me to add fluid motion to where exactly? Uh, maybe here? I don't know. Let's see. That would... Mm, just convert one strength node, it's not really worth it. Uh, but it's probably where it wants me to put it. Uh, and it's probably not that great. And now it's saying like brown drill is better, that's probably going for this slot. But I don't think that's good. We're gonna let it calculate. Maybe it comes up with something better. Emperor's... Uh, that's not gonna happen. That is really expensive, as far as I know. <laughs> I'm not, not gonna even check it. Uh, replica Sanctified Flask. That is a mana flask. Uh, increases attack speed during a flask. Uh, increased mana cost of skills. Mm, nothing that great. See emperors, we saw, said not gonna use that. Marshal, ooh, ooh, that is really interesting. Uh, let me see how expensive that thing is. How many can we use? Limited to just one. That's not nice. Let me use more of them. <laughs> okay, if it's cheap, yes, it's cheap. Oh, nice. This can go to 4, this is always the same, so we can actually get Corrupted Blood on this thing, probably. With uh, 4, uh, let's see, probably can get, can not be inflicted as an implicit. Can you get Blading? I don't think you can get that on a, on a Jewel, honestly. No, that's like Corruption on some other piece of equipment um mm -mm. cannot be inflicted corrupted blood cannot be inflicted let's see how expensive that is well it's more expensive than the other one than the brown jewel but for for um to melee range seems like a really really nice thing to have uh <laughs> i don't know Let's just grab one, doesn't matter, like 3%, and you also increase attack speed with our passives in the radius, grant 1% increased attack speed with our attacks. So, any passive, huh, that is, that is really nice, Jewel, it's interesting, let's actually add it from here, I mean, doesn't matter, you can add corruption, like, you can corrupt it with the implicit from here. Uh, and we can see, ooh, 2% physical damage reduction, oh, of around 2%, okay, so that's like 2% more damage. Um, cannot be silent, cannot be cursed with, while, with silence, hindered, maimed, um, penetrations are useless to us. Mm -mm. Area damage, probably, uh, or this thing, I think this thing. Uh, but I'm not gonna put corruption on it for now. Let's add it. Uh, we have to see, like, where do we put it? <laughs> I have to think about it. This is like, uh, so passives in radius. That is not a big radius, dude. Uh, I guess this would be a best position for it since it grabs one two three four wouldn't grab this you could grab this uh 
It's 1% per passive. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna remove it from that other slot um, here. I'm gonna say fluid motion for now. So we have this here. So we we get, let me see. It does not increase our impale DPS by a lot. But we get three to radius, which is pretty huge for us. Actually, four to radius. I don't think we can get much benefit of this uh, attack speed since we can't really have a lot of passives in, in like radius. So it's probably not gonna be that impressive in terms of that. Uh, even if we would grab like here. Actually, we would grab maybe Frenzies, since it's kind of in the range. Probably go like this. And that's... Let's see, attack speed, 14%. Actually, I gr grabbed Frenzy Charge, so it does give a bit... It's not like a lot, but it's still... It's still better than nothing if you go through here. And there might be actually better jewels to use. But I'm kind of int interested, <laughs> intrigued by that jewel. Uh, let's see what else we get as a suggestion. And then I'm gonna try on my own. <laughs> um, and it's replica. Okay, that's flask. Careful planning to dexterity intelligence. Uh, okay, that's transformation jewel. For if we are in some intelligence part of the skill tree, like fluid motion, but for intelligence. Uh, this thing. Survival instinct, 20 dexterity, 6 to all elemental resistance. That's like not terrible use. It's probably cheap as. Yeah, it's probably really cheap uh, to get. What is this thing? Again, some 40% uh, wheat, at least 40%. Uh, why is probably because increased fees damage? Uh, 40% increase in cleave, but we can't use cleave. Uh, EK, what is this thing? Increase effect of curses. Lord of Steel, that's the thing that I wanted to see if I can use. Okay, we're gonna see like this. We're gonna not look at all of those, but just like focus on one thing. We kind of went with the Votos, but let's see like what are our, what are our other options. <laughs> oh, I don't know, that was somehow hard to pronounce. Reduce damage when low, increase evasion ranking, dexterity, attack speed. Global crit strike chance useless. A lot of life, uh, invasion rating while on low life. Uh, it's kind of kind of okay, I guess. Fractal thoughts is really good, but it's um, mm, I don't know if it's gonna be more damage, average damage. Let's add it and test it out. So, uh, Devotos or Fractured Thoughts. Devotos is still better, but it's kind of a really good helmet. What is this thing? String dexterity armor, fizz damage to attacks, increase melee damage. Not leech on low life. Okay, we're probably good on a helmet. On a body armor, I don't think we're gonna get anything better than a uh, wild wrap. No, that's, that's crap. For gloves, <laughs> we don't have gloves. For boots, uh, there are boots that um, give you a life based on how much uh, dexterity you have. Those are really nice. And I also wanted to check uh, because of the replicas if there is something really interesting. Rain of arrows, movement speed, reduced movement speed on low life. That is. Uh, nope. Uh, the exerting movement speed increase da damage taken. Increase damage taken while phasing. Um, you're phasing if you killed recently. Projectiles chain. Nope. Projectiles. This. What is this? 
Uh, movement speed per frenzy charge, attack and cast speed per frenzy charge, life regeneration per frenzy charge. Just to get 40 uh, frenzy charge on kill. Increases damage per frenzy charge with hits against enemies on low life. Mm, that is interesting. Uh, what are our boots? Well, looks like our boots with just like dexterity are, are doing the work, I guess. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The boots that I'm kind of looking for the boots that give you um, movement speed kept at 150%. Um, but I don't know how they are called. Let's try percent. Where are you percent? Okay, stampede. Okay, yeah, I was talking about stampede. Um, why are these things interesting? Well, because you don't have to use. Um, if you use like um, quicksilver flask, silver flask, um, have onslaught, and still like go and cyclone, uh, we're going to get like reduce. Um, Reduce movement speed from just cycloning, uh, because get 30% um, less movement speed. Uh, I don't know why that is not being uh, represented here. Let me see. Movement speed 105, movement speed only 105. Maybe you need to calculate something. Uh, are you channeling cyclone? Yes, we are. Um, so as you can see like it's 43 percent uh, even if you go and add a quicksilver flask let's say let's add a quicksilver flask so it's utility flask quicksilver flask not gonna craft it just gonna add it for now quicksilver flask and you added silver flask for um um phasing silver for onslaught sorry for onslaught you add that there are sources, sources of onslaught, but for now, and you added also um, third movement speed flask, which is um, quartz for phasing. I think phasing gives you movement speed. It should. Might be wrong. Uh, let's see if phasing actually gives you movement speed. Mm, maybe that's here? No, oh, that's for uh, enemies. Uh, um, are you chilled blind? Do you have... We'll check if the phasing actually gives you... So... Phasing. Let's see what phasing does. Um, okay, phasing allows you to move through enemies. Um... I thought it also gives movement speed. Phasing allows to move through enemies. It can be granted by flask effect, depending on source. Uh, uh, phasing it doesn't have any visual effects, but uh, mm -hmm. no, it doesn't actually give you movement speed. I was thinking it, does, it gives you movement speed because of phase run. Okay, so with all of that, um, our movement speed, we might be able to kind of get more movement speed somewhere else, but our movement speed is crappy 72%. Uh, with the Gladiator, we would kind of gain even more movement speed because of this multiplier here for Arena, Arena Challenger. And it would kind of feel okay, uh, but here it might not feel as good. Uh, that's why I'm thinking of uh, just dropping like these flasks, quicksilver, silver, quartz. Actually, quartz is kind of okay for... Actually, we don't need phasing since we are going to move through enemies with cyclone. Uh, but yeah, dro dropping like all of these flasks. And instead of 62%, uh, were these kind of staying active? That's weird. That is weird. Um, so... With this is, uh, what did I say, movement speed 73%, you just go and uh, drop uh, Stampede instead. Replica Stampede, what does Replica do? Um, the item can be anointed by Cassia. Wait a second. 
what annoyed can you have on a on a boots? Don't tell me you can get additional annoyed uh, like one from mm. That is super weird. I never noticed that stat. But here one like the thing that actually changes is socket to travel skill deal 80% more damage. Uh travel skills have uh 80% increased cooldown recovery speed. Wow, that is actually pretty nice. So we would have our dash. We can drop second wind probably with this. The other things are pretty much the same. Getting increased mana regeneration while moving, which can probably help with sustaining cyclone if we don't get reduced um, mana cost for cyclone. That is pretty interesting. I think the replica, uh, actually the regular one, uh, the replica trial skills deal. Actually, this is this is OP. This is crazy. Okay, okay, we have to test out something. Uh, let's make a new um, here. Uh, call it movement, I guess. Movement skills. Uh, let's add phase run. Phase run. Uh, look at our DPS with phase run because phase run actually uh, does give you. Uh, more <laughs> melee damage, which is pretty crazy, but uh, the secondary duration is only for 0.2 seconds, so you have to kind of scale this with increased duration, and even then it's not gonna be like that crazy, and increased skill duration per frenzy charge removed, so you would probably have to kind of scale your frenzy charges, and it's gonna last some time, uh, it's not like crazy, but let's see what happens when we add replica stampedes to the mix, um... Add to the build, that is bit replica stampede, actually lost damage. Uh, I thought it would actually affect the phase run, because it's... Uh, I think the wording is probably... Yeah, I'm not understanding the wording, because socket travel skills deal, it means like travel skills deal, but not like, it doesn't increase the damage that the travel skills give you to your other skills. Now this is basically crap. Uh, regular stampede, it is. Okay, so as you can see, our movement speed is not being calculated. <laughs> uh, let me, let's see. A movement speed. Movement speed, movement speed. Movement speed 106. Stampede. Uh, 50. Your movement speed is 150 of its base value. But that, that I thought it was 150. Wait. So it's scaling your base movement speed. How, how do I scale my base movement speed? Uh... I don't think you can scale base movement speed. I mean, the cyclone wouldn't really reduce it any further, but we had like more movement speed with the other stuff. I thought it would be better, but it kinda isn't. Mm, I don't think we'll use this. This episode was running a bit too long, so I decided to cut it here and we'll just continue in the next one.